I was asked if I would create a simple umbrella so I've got a reference image here that I will link to and I'm going to bring in a circle and use eight vertices I'll go into edit mode and press S and pull, scale it out, E to extrude, pull it up to here. I'm going to go into wireframe and press S to scale. I'll zoom in a bit, S. And I'm going to pull it in close to this top post right there. We're going to make a little disc here. And so there's a hole there right now. Control R and scale to create the curve. I can do another one here and scale. We'll put on a subdivision in a bit, scale it out like that. We'll do one more here. We'll try that and let's have a look at what that's like if I go control two and shade smooth so it is nice and smooth. All right, let's carry on though. Um, I think at this point what we'll do is we will shift alt and click these faces here every second one let's come over to the materials click new and type in one and assign so we'll have a material there control i to invert the selection create a new material call it two color two and don't forget to do assign the next thing i'm going to do is shift alt and click these And we're going to bevel those. Control B, pull. I have the two there, one more in the middle that'll sharpen it up. Do something like that. And then one more edge loop in the middle of each of these. Right in the middle there. I'll drop that in there. And then in vertex selection, I'm going to select all of those individual end vertices like this holding down shift and clicking on those i'll look from the front i don't really need the diagram i'm just going to pull up to give it that sort of notched kind of look so there's our basic umbrella part right there i'm going to bring my 3d cursor right to the middle of that hole and bring in a cylinder i'll go for 16 vertices scale it down make sure they making sure that it sort of fills the hole like that and we'll look over here let's grab that and let's pull it down just a little bit and something like that and then we're going to make this part so i'm going to go into wireframe in one and press set uh, i'd inset pull it in till i get the diameter of this or the width of that and i'll pull that up to there go back into solid view and three for face selection and now i'll press Control b and pull and round this off nicely and I'm going to come have a look under here and we're going to do a similar thing. I'll look in wireframe and press I to inset and I'm making it about the diameter of this so that I can then extrude down and have the handle right down about there. And with my cursor there, I'm going to shift S cursor to select it to bring the 3D cursor right there uh, anyhow. So let's do a little bit of work on this thing here. We're going to bevel, so shift alt and click that edge, and shift alt and click that edge, and then control B and pull, and I just need three edges in there. I'll also shift alt and click on that and bevel that the same way. All right, so we have that, and do we have an end on here? And we're gonna get rid of that, so go into edit mode, select that face and delete it. And now we can shade smooth that and uh, we should be good to go. All right, that's what we get so far. My 3D cursor is right there, so I'm going to now bring in a curve path, scale it down, rotate Y90, and pull it down here like that, and grab these points and just start making a bit of a curve here. I'm gonna take this and extrude a couple of times to do that and then get yourself a curve that you can live with sometimes i'm here fiddling about with that let's just put on a uh, curve geometry bevel give it some thickness and then i can maybe i can get a better curve that i like a little bit more yeah and once you're satisfied with that then come over here change the resolution to three and then convert to a mesh go into edit mode and in edge selection grab that e and s and pull that in and then Control b and give it three segments and then take this i have to make a face 
control B and pull and just make it a bit more rounded for the end of that. And then in this section right here at the top, I'm going to put in a couple of little uh, extrusions. So three edge loops, control B, roll back to zero, E and Alt S and pull to pull it in. And then uh, do I have a subdivision on this? Not yet. So I'm gonna put control one, we'll try con control one, and then we'll just uh, put some other edge loops in here. So I'm gonna slide up and down in each of these little groove areas. Like that, I'll put another edge loop here. And we'll have a look at that. That might be all right, just like that. We can put on the cavity shader to make it look a little more interesting. And we can decide if we want more than subdivisions. I think that's probably okay though, like that. And let's have a look up here. We need to do something here. I forgot to bevel this, so we'll grab that and we'll put uh, three on there. And that should be just fine like that. Okay, I don't need the background image anymore. I've got this, let's double check. All right, so our umbrella needs to be flipped like that. And that's good, so let's go back. Let's try some color on this. Let's go to the shading tab. And in slot two there, let's put maybe like a blue color. And we will lower the roughness, make it nice and shiny. And we'll also add 0 0.3 for clear coat. All right, that'll make it really shiny. And then I'm gonna select one and I'll put on that uh, 0 0.3 as well for the clear coat, drop the roughness, and we'll change the color to like a red color like that. So we're getting that going. We'll come back to the umbrella in just a moment. Let's take this, let's make a new material and let's call this metal. And we can change the base color just to slightly bluish color. Maybe that wasn't enough. Maybe I'll drop the roughness and we'll bring the metallic all the way up. So it looks kind of like metal. And this thing, we'll give it a new material handle or something along those lines. Drop the roughness a little bit. I don't think I'll do clear coat and I'm not really trying to make it look like wood. I'll just make it look like sort of a dark brown plastic of some sort. So we got that going on. Okay, now the next thing we need to do, let's go back to layout and here we can look. We'll give this a little bit of thickness, this umbrella. A lot of people would use Solidify, but I'm just going to use E and Alt S and push or pull. Bring it out just a little bit, and then we'll add a couple of edge loops, and that will be almost that down, not right at the edge. You could put a lip if you wanted on this as well. Sometimes you'll see that. But I'm just gonna come in here now and drop an edge loop maybe there, and one more there. And it might be a little thicker than you would expect, but that's okay, so it should be good. The final thing, however, is up here. We're gonna bring in an edge loop and that'll I'll just sort of close that circle off to, for the most part. Yeah, I think that's fine like that. And under here, another edge loop and we'll close it off. And I think we are pretty much done. All right, you can of course decide to change the colors if you want. Let's say you don't like red and you want it to be green. That does not look good at all. Purple, I'm gonna go back to red. All right, and how many polys is this? Well, 20 some thousand because of the, you know, the subdivisions. Um, and then try it under different lightings to make it look real cool. All right, we don't have the spokes, but it's still a nice little umbrella. And you could, of course, get rid of the handle and stick it into some sand and have a beach umbrella. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching.